My name is Jennifer Daly, and today I'm going to be showing you a new feature in the program called the litigation check sheet. The duration of this video will be approximately 10 minutes. Some topics that we're going to be covering. What is a check sheet? Why would you use a check sheet? How it works? and the security settings which allow you to edit the check sheet. So what is a check sheet? A check sheet is an accumulation of all the important information from a collections or litigation matter. And this information is then reflected in one central place. So instead of you having to go to the document generator database to get some information and the debtor's account and file notes, what we've done is we've centralized all that information into one main screen for you. The check sheet doesn't affect the way you work normally. You still do your processes in the same way. Your debtor's account still operates in the same way. All we've done is gone and grabbed information from all the different areas of the program and displayed it to you in one place. So why would you use a check sheet? Again, because the check sheet allows you to view all the information relating to a matter in one central location. In other words, the court details can be viewed on the general tab rather than having to go into the document generated database to view this information. How does the check sheet work? On the left-hand side of your screen, you've got the change in your matter window. And on the right-hand side, you've got your litigation check sheet. Now, as you can see, the check sheet reflects the file reference of the matter, the matter description, the date instructed, all the important, important information. And when something changes on a matter, the check sheet is automatically updated. And the great thing about the check sheet is that it happens the other way around as well provided you've got the security settings to allow you to make changes on the check sheet, those changes will update the actual matter information. So on your check sheet, if you go and change the matter description, for example, when you go and look at your matter, the matter description will be changed. We'll cover the security settings a bit later. Using the check sheet, the litigation check sheet is available to all users who are licensed for magistrate's court or high court. You highlight the matter that you want to view the check sheet for, and then you click on the check sheet icon. So let's have a closer look. When you click on the check sheet icon, this is what opens up your litigation check sheet. Let's have a closer look at the screen. The general tab. The general tab contains information relating to the matter, as well as reflecting the parties involved, in other words, plaintiffs and defendants. On the left-hand side of the screen here, you can see important matter details, such as the file reference, the description, date instructed, claim amount, interest, and the interest from date. You can also access the debtor's account settings by clicking on the debtor's account settings button. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, the parties have displayed for you, the client, the client's reference, the plaintiff, defendants one and two, and the attorney who's handling the matter.
And then on the right hand side at the top here, you've got the case details, the type of case, you acting for the status of the matter, the court that the matter is held in, and some important case details as well there. And in the bottom right hand corner, you've got the court details. The next tab, the Stages tab, this shows you all file notes that have a stage code linked to them and the number of days it's taken between each stage. So straight away you can see that the number of days is reflected on the screen and you can see that you've got a summons and a request for judgment. It shows you important information. You don't have to go and sift through your file notes just to see a summary of your stage codes. The Judgment tab gives you a breakdown of the judgment details. And the Emolument Attachment Details tab summarizes all the information required for the Emolument Attachment Order. The PTP Details tab shows the debtor's repayment details as well as payments made by the debtor so far. You can see on the right hand side you've got a nice summary of the screen. It shows you all the payments that have been received to date. And on the left hand side at the bottom it gives you a good payment summary. You can see how much has been paid this month, paid since the PTP started, the last payment date and the last payment amount. And then obviously not all users will have access to edit the check sheet. So all users have access to view the information on the check sheet, but only those users with access to the procedure called matters-update will be able to make changes on the check sheet. And then just to summarize, all users that are licensed to imagine high court will have access to view the check sheet. Changes that are made on the check sheet update the information on the relevant screen in legal seat. In other words, if you change the file reference on the check sheet, this will change on the matter and obviously if your security settings permit. You need to have access to matters-update on your security group in order to update information on the check sheet. And important information relating to a matter is reflected on one screen. That concludes this video on the litigation check sheet. Thank you for joining me.